Hello everyone and welcome to yet another interview of Big Board Theory. I am your host, Cyber as always, and today I have a very special uh, guest from Draw Labs Entertainment. Uh, care telling me more about yourself? Who are you? Hello. Uh, thank you for hosting me. I'm uh, Evangelos from Draw Labs Entertainment. Our pleasure. Um, nice to meet you and uh, very nice to, to interact with you and your audience. I was uh, looking forward to this. Uh, we've been uh, trying to schedule it for a few uh, weeks now and uh, we finally made it. <laughs> yeah, we have been going back and forth and uh, this is a historic moment that we got this interview. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Um, yeah, you, you might know me or Drolla from uh, a few campaigns that we have done in the past. We have done a lot of uh, board games and uh, board game accessories. Uh, especially the legendary metal coins that we have done six campaigns so far and uh, we have also done uh, fun board games like uh, When I Dream, Fired Up, uh, Mystic Stores and a few other titles over the last uh, eight years if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, you have some very solid titles and uh, a strong reputation as a company I believe. Uh, oh, that's very nice of you to say that. <laughs> uh, it speaks for itself. <laughs> so, uh, I have heard uh, that you're preparing a new crowdfunding campaign uh, about your new coins, if I am correct. Uh, yeah. So, can you elaborate? Uh, what is this about? Uh, what can we expect to see from you? That's right. Uh, we, we've been uh, working for this one for, for a while. We, we, are always, we always have uh, new coin ideas and uh, in general we're trying to think a little bit out of the box to make uh, new fun but also premium board game accessories for our, for our audience. Uh, and uh, we are about to launch the seventh uh, Legendary Metal Coins campaign, yeah. which uh, consists of uh, eight uh, new designs. And uh, we may have a few more surprises up our sleeves. Uh, we're really excited with, with, with all of them, to be honest. But uh, uh, we, we have a few that uh, I think really stand out. Like uh, we have done a few more of our forged coins line, which have some more unique 3D elements, like the forged dinosaurs or the forged pirate coin set. And we are also... Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm also very excited about our uh, Arkham game tokens, which is uh, some game tokens that you can use to replace cardboard tokens in games like uh, Arkham Horror, the, the LCG, or any other um, Lovecraft-based uh, Cthulhu horror game. Oh, can have some horror element. <laughs> oh yeah, it, it has uh, as many tentacles as you would like. <laughs> That's something. <laughs> That's definitely something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, there are tokens for uh, health points, uh, sanity points, and clue tokens, or whatever else you want to call them, depending on the game that you play. Yeah. And uh, you can use them in uh, Cthulhu, Death May Die, or Masters of Madness, or or even like homebrew um, horror RPG campaigns. So it's not only the coins, you're also doing the tokens. Will they be in the same campaign, or, the, or uh, different ones? Yeah, they are uh, of the same campaign, we're producing them at the same time, they're also metal, but they have an, en an enamel effect on them that makes them uh, a little bit shinier. But uh, during our uh, Metal Coins campaigns we also offer some add-ons, like uh, those game tokens, or uh, the adventure potions and weapons that we did last year, or even some uh, uh, cool dice bags to hold your coins inside, like pouches. Awesome, awesome. You had me at tentacles too. <laughs> you had me tentacles for sure, so I will check it out. Uh, awesome. So what about uh, those new coins? You said some 3D elements, uh, some uh, like uh, weird, interesting stuff uh, going on. Uh, what are the improvements you made and uh, why someone should back these coins when you have made previous series? What have you done that's drastically so different? Um. Well, we are we are making uh, new designs, so they are designs that well we didn't have before. <laughs> uh, so nice we to can, have. Uh, yeah, <laughs> so we, we are reaching out to to game genres that we had before. For example, the, the Forge Dinosaur coins could be very cool for games like uh, Dinosaur Island or Raptor or Evolution or any of those that we didn't have any uh, suitable coins uh, for those. We have also done a few of our previous coins in the Forge um, version. For example, uh, one of our best-selling coins for all time are the Elven and the Pirate coins. 
and we gave them a more 3D treatment with the new coin set, the Forged Delvin and the Forged Pirate. So uh, even people who had those sets, they can check this out so they can uh, combine them in the same game or even use them in a different game. So it has uh, stuff uh, popping out more like uh, sculpturing and the uh, weird shapes going on and some interesting stuff, right? Yeah, exactly. And uh, we're awesome. using a new a new technique of designing them that gives us a little bit of more freedom to, to implement some designs. So we're playing around with that too. <laughs> cool. And innovation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're always up for that. <laughs> Uh, other from coins, uh, what other stuff have you got uh, on the ropes? What are you preparing? Like any exciting new board games? Because I have seen your collection and uh, I'm quite depressed with it. Uh, I would love to share Thank more you. about uh, Drollab's future and uh, what have you got to expand your uh, your board game collection to? Um, we are actually working on the artwork of one of the board games that we're going to release hopefully late next year on Kickstarter. Um, I cannot share too much yet, so I cannot tell you what the name is, but it's going to be uh, a Forex Viking game. Oh, awesome. Yeah. <laughs> uh, in which you will be able to have like a Viking tribe trying to uh, to explore some island. So it's, it's a little bit of more uh, naval exploration. You're trying to explore islands, get resources from there, expand your army, build bases, and of course attack each other because you're... Uh, sharing limited resources and goals. So I'm very excited about that. And I'm also very excited about the, the art sketches that I've been seeing for it so far. It sounds like a saga, almost a journey, like a Forex Viking game. And uh, I don't think there are too many of a Viking Forex game in the markets. And uh, North mythology and uh, history are especially close to my heart. So <laughs> I would love to hear yeah. more. To too bad it's still a secret. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, we will be soon be announcing a little bit more about that. Uh, and we are also going to open up our playtesting perhaps on TTS later uh, during the summer. So uh, if you follow us on social media, we are going to make uh, a few announcements uh, probably around August uh, because now we'll be very busy promoting the coins. But uh, we're very excited to get people trying out our uh, Viking game. <laughs> I hope you count me in as a playtester. Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. <laughs> and uh, one of the last questions I have to make, and it's uh, kind of a dodgy one, so take your ground and prepare. <laughs> uh, All right. Take a deep breath. <laughs> yeah, take a deep breath, and uh, we're going in. So uh, oh, wow. I have here about some uh, material shortages, some uh, shipping uh, things going terribly wrong, and. Uh, campaigns and all the costs standing up and campaigns take behind and uh, especially when producing metal uh, materials and heavy packages like you are going to do so did that affect you at all uh, have you got any plans to bypass those uh, things or are you um, cool with it and uh, it hasn't affected you at all how is the situation Oh, it has, it has uh, we are very cool, but it has affected us quite a lot. <laughs> uh, the, the main impact was on the season six campaign that uh, we had a lot of uh, delays uh, when we were shipping the coins, especially to our US bikers. And um, of course, not only the delays, but also the, ex the extra cost that uh, we definitely have to take into consideration for the shipping prices from now on. Um, However, the, the metal increase wasn't too big in our case. We, we had, um, we had a, a pretty good price for our coins. Maybe we're going to, to have an increase during the campaign, but it shouldn't be more like a 5% and even in, but in some cases. Uh, so we are trying to, uh, to take the hit ourselves in order to make our coins accessible to the bikers. Maybe we won't have uh, the huge bundles that we had at the same prices, but still the, you will be able to get uh, a package of awesome looking premium coins for about 20 to 25 dollars, which is, I think, uh, still pretty fair. Yeah, I uh, And uh, the shipping prices are going to, to rise up, but uh, we, don't, we don't make any profit from the shipping. We're going to charge whatever they ask us for, and uh, we're going to not charge for shipping way before so that we can 
ask for a more accurate cost for our backers. And I think that makes things a little bit uh, more fair for everybody. Always. So that's reassuring to hear because we live in some pretty historic times like uh, war is happening, uh, pandemics are happening, uh, stuff is going down the drain. And uh, it's uh, good to hear when uh, you have things under control and can be reassuring back to backers. And also uh, some fairness goes a lot way for uh, both parties. Yeah, we, we are trying uh, to do what uh, we would like uh, uh, to see from other campaigns. We are backers as well to other people's cool projects because there are so many amazing games and game accessories uh, being made every day on Kickstarter and everywhere. And we try to treat people the way we like to be treated and we try to make things uh, fair for everybody. Awesome. That's a very good motto to have. <laughs> So uh, I think I have learned a lot about uh, Draw Lab and you, and I'm quite excited oh, for what the future holds, and also very reassured that the situation uh, is uh, <laughs> is <laughs> under control and everything runs smoothly. <laughs> Thank you very much. It, uh, it takes a lot of uh, preparation to do things things right, and of course, if you if you get burned in uh, in shipping in, uh, in in such big ways that everybody was for the last couple of years, you. You, you tend to learn lessons that you don't forget easily. <laughs> yeah, also there was a very big burn in the market recently. I won't point any figures, say any names, but uh, <laughs> I believe we all know what I'm talking about. Uh... <laughs> yeah, I, I can imagine. <laughs> so, for anyone interested in following Drawlap and uh, what... Uh, they are going to produce and launch on Kickstarter. Uh, there will be links to follow them down in the description below, some uh, web pages, Kickstarter and events. And uh, I hope that you are interesting as I am to see both the 4K Viking game and the Metal Coins. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> and I uh, hope I see you again very soon, all of you. Uh, it was a great time having you here, Vangelis. I hope it was Thank also you very much for, you. for having me. Yeah, it was a pleasure. And I'm, uh, again, I'm very happy that we may, managed to make it work. <laughs> cool, awesome. <laughs> uh, so, until next time, it was me, Cyber, and... Evangelos. Thanks, everybody. Bye.